Welcome to the shifting sands of Egypt. We are in the presence of the ancient pyramids, and there is battle to be met. What's up, guys? It's Pixelated Apollo. Thanks for stopping by, and welcome back to another online battle of Napoleon Total War. This one is a two versus two. I am commanding the United Netherlands, and my ally over here is Denmark. And Denmark is commanded by the Ryan King. And if you haven't heard of the Ryan King, check him out. He's a fellow Total War YouTuber. He has been a longtime supporter of my channel since like my first Medieval 2 Siege battle. He's got really great content. And whenever we play together, we always have the craziest of battles, uh, just like this one right here. So there's a link in the description. Check out his channel. It's awesome. And our two opponents, we have France and we have Austria. So two uh, pretty powerful factions. If you look at the balance of power, it's not exactly even. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out the army comps. We'll start with my cav. I'm bringing two hussars and I have one unit of carabiners. And then I have uh, two units of the 12 pounder foot artillery. I have four units of the uh, Nassau, or Nassau Jaegers. And I have about seven units of line infantry. Uh, unfortunately, Netherlands, they don't have a very dynamic or diverse roster. So you can't really bring any cool units. So yeah, I'm just spamming line infantry. Here is my general, general staff. And uh, I have two grenadiers, so they're pretty cool looking. They look pretty sweet. And they're pretty nasty. And uh, that's pretty much it for my army. Now looking at the Ryan King's army, uh, Denmark. He is bringing some light dragoons. He has two units of the uh, lifeguards of horse. And he has his general staff over here. General staff. And then he has uh, two units of lifeguards of foot. And he has about four units or three units of line infantry. And at the very end, we've got some grenadiers. And his grenadiers look even cooler. Look at that. That is nice. Oh, I, I love the uniforms. I, I can't say it enough. I really can't. And then he has two sharpshooters, two Norwegian ski troops. And for his artillery, he has seven pounder howitzer. Uh, let's now look at our opponents, which are maneuvering way over here, almost to uh, the all the way to the end of this battle, or battlefield, I should say. Uh, we'll start with the French. He is bringing about four units, four or five units of the Fusiliers of Line. So here they go in their glorious uniforms, marching by. And uh, he's bringing about three units of the Chassia Cheval for his cav. And here is his general, general staff. He also has three units of old guard, very elite unit. And he has about three units of the Volticas, or three or four units of them. And that's pretty much it for his army. He also has uh, two uh, horse artillery, six pounder horse artillery that are currently setting up. Let's now look at his uh, Hungarian or Austrian ally. He's bringing a couple Jaegers. Oh, they just disappeared, <laughs> but they're there. They are certainly there. Uh, he's bringing a lot of Hungarian Fusiliers. So they are marching in position. He's also got uh, some six pounder foot artillery. He's uh, going to set them up. He also has some, uh, some cav. He's bringing the first Hussars, and he also has two more units of Hussars uh, running off in the distance. Here's the rest of his army. Uh, actually, he has three more units of Hungarian Hussars. And, uh, we, oh, Archduke Ferdinand. Uh, very cool. Some heavy cav. He's also bringing the Archduke Charles Legion. More Hungarian Fusiliers marching through the, uh, the palm trees here. And then, oh, my favorite, almost my favorite unit. The 1st Regiment Emperor's Own. Ah, yeah. Love that unit. Fantastic. Alright, so those are pretty much the armies. Oh, oh, hold that thought. He's, he's got some Grenzers over here. So that's, uh, some light, uh, light infantry. So let's go back and uh, start this battle. Let's talk some strategy here. So there we go, the first volley of artillery. Now, this this is very interesting. So we noticed that they weren't really protecting their artillery. They've got a couple units of line infantry. They have a couple skirmishers. And me and the Ryan King, we're focusing, we're concentrating our forces to, tr to really take out that hill. So our strategy here is to charge forward, take out the hill, then turn our armies, use the hill against them because they are giving it up, and then hopefully we can uh, turn on them and take out the rest of their forces. Now taking out a hill like this is a lot harder than it looks. Like if this was Medieval 2 Total War, we could do this easily. You know, all we had to do is concentrate our forces. But the artillery here can be very devastating if you don't approach it, approach it correctly. So this is where the Hungarians, uh, they charge in their first Hussars. Uh, they've got some pretty sweet uniforms as well. Let me go ahead and turn on the minimap so we can see what's going on. Uh, I was not paying attention, nor did I even expect him to even do a charge like this. So he does get me by surprise. 
Here we go. But I do outnumber him. There we go. Right at the last moment, I charge back. And we have a very, uh, very deadly cab fight over here. A very shaky cab fight as well. <laughs> My carabiners are a heavy cab. They should be able to handle the uh, first hussars without any kind, of, you know, without any issues. Uh, they are, they were starting to break. There they go. Now they're starting to break. I set up my artillery up on this ridge over here, so now I'm firing at their defenses, trying to you know soften them up before we march forward. And this is where we begin the assault on the Great Hill. And look, his army is divided. This is really good, guys. Uh, again, we just have to take that artillery. It looks like he's moving in some Hungarian hussars with a nice green and red. Uh, they are going to go for the Ryan King's cav. Uh, Ryan King is moving up his cav on the flank. And I'm also moving up my skirmishers. I noticed that he's charging down uh, some uh, some cav over here. So this is where I'm putting down some stakes. Will they put it down in time? Let's see. Hold. Here we go. Up. Oh, oh they get a f they get a volley off there. Uh, but I do put down stakes, so they are safe from cav charges. It could have been a lot worse. Could have been pretty deadly for my uh, skirmishers. I'm gonna get some shots off as he uh, runs away. There we go. Take him out. Take him out. Uh, my cav over here, unfortunately, is getting harassed by enemy artillery. Uh, they actually get a really devastating shot on my cav, on my poor uh, carabiners. Oh, see, there it is. Oh my god, did you see that volley? What a lucky shot. I never get shots like that with my artillery. It sucks. And then over here, <laughs> it sucks. Uh, we do have uh, some Jaegers getting chopped down by... Uh, Ryan King's oh my god what happened was that a canister shot I think it was now he's moving on to uh, the French cav there we go so we are not having any kind of luck against that artillery uh, but we are taking out the Hungarian cav so that's less of an issue we don't really have to worry about that anymore so here we go he's setting up more line infantry he's firing down cannonballs and this is just a glorious defense uh, he's got his men in square formation to try to protect his own cav. I was just trying to run my cav out of there. Unfortunately, my hussars... Actually, no, my carabiners and one of my hussars, they break from the fight. So now I'm just left with a depleted unit of hussars, which was pretty sad. I was just like, what? That was the luckiest shot from his artillery. Uh, but this is where we're moving in. We're not going to wait because his army's so far away and we need to take action now. So, hungry... Or, I keep calling Hungary. I'm sorry, Austria is moving in their cab. They're going for the Ryan King's general. Uh, I, I told Ryan King, get your general out of there. And now he's uh, moving back to safety towards his army. And my general is also back here as well. Uh, he could be going for our, our, for our artillery. Jeez. Uh, but hopefully we have some troops over there to protect him. So here we go. Here's the great assault. Moving up on the, this nice desert hill. Oh, the cannonballs are ripping through our men. We just need to get up there and overwhelm him with our numbers. But the tricky part is when he turns his artillery, he activates the canister shot and just sprays down on our troops. Hopefully, we don't take too many casualties there. I've taken out a couple artillery pieces with my own artillery, but I would definitely love to take out more just to be extra safe. Uh, but yeah, look, at he's going for my general over here. I've got my grenadiers retreating back. And look at this. He could go for my artillery. I've limbered up my artillery to get him out of there. But instead, he goes for my general. Which I think is silly because I'm going to obviously win this fight because I have the grenadier support. My general is under attack, but he should be okay. As long as my grenadiers charge in here, protect him. Yeah, take out those Austrians, that Hungarian uh, hussars. Oh, we can see the cannonballs just ripping through my line infantry. Uh, I'm trying to inch forward my skirmishers just to try to, like... I don't know. I was I was kind of using my skirmishers as, like, uh, meat shields, which you probably shouldn't do. But I was just trying to absorb the canister shots so my line infantry doesn't take it. Uh, but hungry... Ugh, I keep calling them hungry. Austria, I'm so sorry, Austria and France, they're starting to flank around, and now they've got us somewhat surrounded. Look at this, guys. Uh, not a great situation. It was a pretty uh, pretty clever strategy that they're doing, uh, but the Ryan King is now maneuvering his army to protect the flank. 
He's got his lifeguards afoot taking down his Archduke Ferdinand uh, heavy cav over there. Uh, which is really good because that's a pretty expensive cav. So a good use of the uh, elite foot guard. And uh, here we go. We've got ourselves a little bit of a line battle taking place. And uh, the, the assault for the hill will continue on. Uh, but he is getting hit hard. Oh, there's the canister shot, guys. Did you see that? Uh, this is where things get a little hairy. And I've got my line infantry and skirmishers moving forward, trying to support his assault. He is committing a lot of forces. Oh, jeez, more canister just going overhead. Come on, line up, men. Hurry. The French are formed. They are firing. Oh, there's... Oh, look at all the casualties from that canister shot. Really good positioning from his catapults. Let's see what I can do. I need to push forward. Oh, my men are getting hit as well from the canisters. Uh, my, my light uh, Jaegers are getting destroyed. Uh, I'm trying to outmaneuver the canister and try to go around him, but he has infantry protecting the flank, so it's going to be pretty challenging. He's forming square over here for whatever reason i guess because they're going to be surrounded uh but there we go moving up my infantry oh they're taking so many casualties uh but i gotta push i gotta take out this hill we must move now because of the situation that we are in because we we're like in a pickle basically there's no retreat we can't go like i don't know like we're surrounded so we have to commit somewhere we have to take this hill we're finally breaking down the french lines uh but we need to go a little bit faster we need to take them out because uh, uh, every time they get a canister volley on our troops, we lose about 10 men. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's just destroying our line infantry. We made some pretty big mistakes here, guys. And with with a few amount of troops, they are holding against our, our entire armies. Uh, here we go. This is where I charge in my line infantry. Oh, look at that. He's... He doesn't even care about his own troops. He's fo he's firing canister shot into his own men, his allies' men. Now I'm charging in to take out the Fusiliers of Line. They're in square formation. Take them out, boys. There we go. Just I'm trying to get close so he can't fire his canister shot. And this is where I'm charging into uh, one is it one of his uh, Hungarian Fusiliers. There we go. We got to push hard because we are surrounded. I do have reserves over here. I've got about three units of line infantry. Also, I have my grenadiers who are helping out the general. So, by the way, my general did survive. So, yeah, here is my grenadiers. They're forming up on this hill. Uh, I just now noticed, or actually, I don't even notice this sneaky cav unit going for them. They're actually going to gonna charge my grenadiers. I've got a lot of troops breaking from the fight. Here's a bird's eye view of the situation. It doesn't look too pretty. I've got my skirmishers way up there trying to take out the artillery crew. Uh, but they are just having a very tough time. Look at the French are right next to me. And my allies army is just also getting shredded. So canister shot, be aware. <laughs> be aware of the canister destruction. Be afraid. Uh, very devastating. Does lots of damage. Uh, this is where I'm moving up my line infantry. We're not giving up just yet. We never give up when we play Total War, no matter what the odds are. And if you look at the odds, it's looking pretty grim. Uh, but yeah, I'm moving up more line infantry. In the line inf in his line infantry, or I'm sorry, the uh, the 40, 40, 47th Czech Regiment is just destroying my line infantry. And this is where we call retreat. It's over like there's nothing we can do about this hill. We must fall back We must retreat or we will surely die in this battle So I'm just getting the hell out of there running everyone as fast as possible My uh, grenadiers are still taking on his uh, his very heavy calf uh, But they are depleted and they should break very soon The Ryan King is trying to protect the flank as we retreat back to the town So our only hope now is to fall back in this small town set up defenses and hope that our men can just outskill, outshoot our opponent even though we are outnumbered. Here we go. He's got his uh, lifeguard afoot. A very noble unit to protect the flanks as the troops fall back. Uh, they do get off a volley there and they're going to fall back as well. Uh, but he cannot give up his artillery. If we lose our artillery pieces, it's going to be over because, well, we can still use the canister shot. You know, artillery is a good is a good tool at taking out tons and tons of troops, which what that's exactly what we're going to need in this situation because we are outnumbered and our troops are very depleted. So here is the mass retreat, and look how healthy their armies are. Man, 
That was a very devastating assault there. Did not get a lot done. We took out a couple units. Uh, we took out a lot of the, uh, the Austrian artillery, but it, it just didn't pay off. Uh, but this is what's left of our forces. It's not impossible. We can still win this. My troops are really exhausted though, uh, but they need to run back. They need to get up on this hill and they need to prepare to hold. My grenadiers are watching this flank. The uh, Austrians are moving in a lot of uh, line infantry over here. Very long lines of troops. Uh, do we have enough to hold? Never surrender. Never retreat. Just fall back. Fall back. To more defensive positions. Oh uh, man, this was red alert. This is what me and the Ryan King call red alert. When we just have to, we have to give up and fall back a little bit. Oh man, I hope my men are brave. Even though the odds are against us. I mean, look at that balance of power. What can we do against such reckless hate? But yeah, if you, I mean, the tables have turned. Now they're attacking us. So, I mean... If we can kind of make them feel very like confident or even overly confident, well, they're you know if they're like if they get lazy or you know they're so confident they don't worry about certain things. If they just kind of attack without any kind of order, we could definitely kill a lot of troops or even turn this battle around. I think what Austria is doing here is waiting for his French ally before he moves up on this great hill, this great hill of defense. Uh, my ally finally got his howitzer in position. And my line infantry, unfortunately, are clumping up right here. He's going after him with artillery. That is not good. Men, please do not clump up. Form thin lines. Very thin lines. Uh, I'm sending back my, uh, my artillery back where it started. And I'm going to hold mostly this front of the, uh, the hill, this town. And then uh, my ally, the Ryan King, he's going to hold this back area over here. So here we go. Grenadier still waiting. Our men are just like, oh my god, our generals, what do they make us do? Like, what do we do? They're just looking over, they could see all the men marching towards them. We don't even have enough ammo for all these troops. <laughs> uh, this is a pretty sweet battle. I love when this kind of stuff happens. Yes, I know, we're losing the battle so far. But, w me and the Ryan King, we just like to... No matter the circuit, like, no matter the, the situation... We will find a way to enjoy the battle and like come up with a way to come back in the fight. Even if that means retreating and going to more of a defensive position. And Napoleon is just a grand game and it just, it's, it was pretty fun playing this. I always have a blast playing this game. Yeah, so the Ryan King, he's falling back. He's going to protect this backside. I was kind of hoping he would leave some troops over here. Here we go. My Grenadiers are barely in range. Uh, so we are going to get some uh, early shots off on the Hungarian Fusiliers. And so the epic defense of the defeated army has begun. Uh, if you watch the Battle of, Wa of Waterloo, uh, there's a really good quote from Napoleon. He was like, I lost the battle at 12 p.m., but I won the battle at 6 p.m. <laughs> So that's the situation right here. We lost the battle early in the day, but we will win it at the end of the fight. So I like this position here because I have such higher ground, but I am outnumbered. I probably should have thinned out my troops a little bit more so more could be firing at once. I do, I do hear some men screaming. What is that? Someone doing a charge? Yes, it looks like he's going for a charge. My grenadiers are starting to lose morale. Here we have the Hungarian Fusiliers. They're going in. They're closing the gap. Uh, my ally is moving in some uh, lifeguards afoot. He's going to support me in this melee. Honestly, I should have changed to uh, gr grenades, but I'm going to go ahead and do a counter charge. Even though I'm outnumbered, here comes my ally. He's going to support me in this fight, and we're going to hold back the Hungarians. Uh, the, uh, the Austrians. <laughs> Every time. There we go. Here comes uh, Austria moving up some Jaegers and some Grenzers. Uh, unfortunately, my grenadiers do break in that fight, uh, but fortunately, my ally is uh, has a unit strong enough to keep back his unit. So we were able to fend off a little charge there. We're still doing battle over on this side. More of my troops are breaking. This is the first regiment, Emperor's Own. And now we're setting up some line infantry. I need to get them a little bit closer. Oh, oh, actually, he broke through two of my units. This unit is going on a rampage. So yeah, I'm moving down my troops because I don't want his skirmishers to just harass me to death. I'm trying to get my men in range. 
Oh, now I'm going for the French over here. Look at this. He's really clumping up his forces. So I'm trying to take him out uh, with my, my artillery. Again, this is why artillery is so important because you can take out mass numbers of troops. Here we go. Look at, look at all my line infantry. They're so depleted. They're already losing hope. They're firing at the flank of the French. The French are trying to maneuver around me, out, outflank me, outflank me. And if we head over this way, the Ryan King is also holding back some French. He's got his line infantry, again, very depleted. The French, very healthy. But the fight must continue. We must hold. Will we take victory today or will it be a bloody defeat? Here we go. Now I'm using canister shot. Uh, it's a very far range. I'm not really taking out a lot, but I am taking out some. So I'm just trying to put some pressure on the French to keep them moving. Make sure he doesn't sit there and shoot at me. I've got my skirmishers also on the flank here. I've got uh, some Jaegers firing. Uh, I'm going to make sure they stay out of range from his French uh, old guard. There we go. There comes the canister shot. I did not get a ton of kills, but it is putting pressure on him. And I'm falling back. We must fall back to the town. Fall back. The balance of power is slowly shifting back towards our favor, but it's still in their favor as of right now. Oh, come on, men. Fall back. Fall back. And here we go. Very brave charge from uh, from the Ryan King using his general, taking out... Oh, look at that. That was epic. Charging and taking out this uh, Fusiliers of line. And he actually breaks the unit, and he's going to disengage. So we are holding them back. Me and the Ryan King, we were just like, hold... This is, this is so important that we hold right here. Now I'm focusing all of my canister shot on this one unit on the wing here. I'm going to try to take out his old guard. And look at that. They are dropping like flies. I am gunning them down. Look at all of their dead bodies. This is, uh, this is really good. We continue to hold. We continue to fight. And there is still hope in, the, in, this, uh, in this battle. Let's, let's see another volley from the, uh, the canister. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, yes, and they break. Look at that. They can't handle the canister shot. So we break uh, one of the one of their units. And then my uh, my ally, the Ryan King, is now firing his artillery, his seven-pounder artillery, going after this unit that's pushing on the flank, the Fusiliers of Line. And the Ryan King is winning over here. His general going for another glorious charge. So we are defeating the French on this flank. So there we go. Denmark Line Infantry firing down. Take them out, men. Take them out. Because we need to quick, quickly maneuver these troops over to the town center. Uh, unfortunately, my men just don't have enough stomach to fight. Now there's a big gap in the, in the town. My troops are holding pretty decently over here. The canister shot still firing. Still trying to take out as many Frenchmen as possible. Come on, let's get another volley here. Fire! Fire! Oh, yes. Look at that. They are dropping. Take them out. We will not go out without a fight. And this is where he does a very brave charge. Oh, another great volley into the old guard. Uh, but they are old guard. They are hard to break. So we're going to need a couple more volleys like that to try to stop them. Oh, there goes another volley. Come on, quickly. Fire. Fire. Oh, jeez. And it just isn't enough to take out the old guard. And we killed their general. Austria charged in his general into the artillery. I used my general to protect his artillery. Uh, so now my uh, ally can continue his uh, great work. His uh, artillery crew can now fire at the Austrians. Ah, uh, but unfortunately my ally's general dies right there. Fighting bravely against the French. Uh, we are victorious on, the f on this flank. So he needs to move his men back into the city. And now he's got his grenadiers uh, in range. Oh, what was that canister shot going overhead? Oh, come on. Is he going to throw some grenades? Let's see. Or is he going to fire? Oh, he's throwing grenades. We're going to try to break him right here. Here we go. Right into the ranks of the 1st Regiment Emperor Zone. This unit has been kicking butt. Oh, yes. And we break him right there. So the center of the town is still safe. My artillery is still alive. But he's going to get another charge with his cav. And that's going to be the last of my artillery. Which is really unfortunate. Because we still have a lot of troops we're going to have to take care of. But again, it's not over. It's never over. Keep firing that artillery. Keep using canister shot. Make it impossible for them to take this town. This is like the Alamo right here. <laughs> uh, buildings are crumbling. We are victorious over here. Uh, so we're going to be able to hold, prepare defenses. 
Uh, unfortunately, my line infantry, they're stuck fighting this cab over here. Uh, but the Ryan King, he still has a ton of troops. And I noticed that the French, they've got some troops that were breaking, but they returned to the fight. They can hear the rallies and the, the trumpets of their nation as they charge in, and they find inspiration to go back into the battle. Oh, and more of my troops are breaking here, and that's pretty much it for my army. I've got one more unit of line infantry. Oh, more canister shot. Going into the French. Take them out. We need more volleys from the canister. And here we go. I do a brave charge with my general. He forms square. I didn't think he had enough troops to form square. And there my general dies. What a brave man, though. Charging into the French lines. Uh, he will definitely be remembered. All the troops fighting in this battle will be remembered. And now we're starting to get overwhelmed into the city. And uh, the Fusiliers of Line taking control. And since my general died there, we just, we don't really have any more, uh, morale, honestly. There we go, everyone is breaking. And that's it, a very, very brave stand. And this battle was just so much fun. Unbelievable. Uh, I never had so much fun losing. Uh, this is what I love to do in Total War, is just never give, never give up, guys. Uh, even though they still have a ton of troops, we went out like champions. And I am not ashamed of this defeat. We made a very bold decision to take this hill. It did not pay off, but dang it, we were not going to give up. We went back to this town and put up a very, very epic defense. All the brave soldiers, uh, Danish and uh, Dutch soldiers, they will be remembered. And uh, yeah, even even our um, our opponents will remember our very brave stand against them, against such odds. Uh, but anyways, here is the kills. I got 731. Uh, the Ryan King getting just... He's just behind me getting 682. Uh, the player commanding Austria was Napoleon uh, Born to Party. Uh, getting 1,308 kills. He did a fantastic job. His ally Moby Dick here getting uh, the least amount of kills. 662. If we look at my unit stats, look at the amount of kills my artillery got. Both of them getting over 100 kills. And who else did pretty well? That's about it. <laughs> really, it was just my artillery. A couple line infantry getting about 40, 50 kills. 79 for my grenadiers. Very good from the grenadiers. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. I, you know, honestly, in Total War, I really... It's like, yeah, you can be competitive. Yeah, you, you want to win. Of course, everyone wants to win. But the great thing about Total War is that it's fun regardless. Win or lose, it's a blast. And it's fun, like, just holding up this great defense against such odds. I don't know why it's so fun for me. That's why I love siege battles so much. It's just defending against this like huge horde of troops. But anyways, let me uh, end this video before this, you know, before I just ramble on. I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Be sure to like, leave a comment and uh, share and subscribe if you haven't. I have another battle with me and the Ryan King coming out very soon. Also very fun, very epic. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.